It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi folks, JB here from the Oracle Jet team. In this two-minute tech tip, we'll talk about how to clear data programmatically from UI components in Jet. We often get questions about how to clear the value of different types of components in JET. And considering that most of the UI components are simply visual representations of the data underneath them, it actually is just a matter of clearing that data or the observable that's bound to that data to whatever the default value should be. So we've got a, um, a select many here. We've got a select one, which has been deprecated, replaced by the select single, and then also a table. Let's take a look at the code and see how that actually is all set up. So if I'm looking at the various different uh, components, what I've done is I've set very, uh, knockout observables, either an observable array, which is for the select many, or just straight up observables for the select one and the select single. In both of these cases, I'm actually just pulling from a standard array, the array of strings, key value pairs, which are all strings. If I look at the API documentation for each of these components, we'll see that it tells us exactly for value, it tells us exactly what the different uh, default values are or what the value should be. In this particular case, this is for the select many. It shows us that it's an array of whatever value is. So in our case, it's an array of strings since our initial data that we're adding in is actually an array of strings. So the value should be that as well. It could also be null. Usually we'll try to set it to the empty set of whatever this is going to be. So if you look at uh, my case where I've have the button that clears that, I'm actually just setting it to an array of empty strings. Same thing for these others, which are actually just values of strings. I've set one to an empty string and the other one to a null. We often run into a case where people think that, oh, it's an observable, so I'll just clear it out and give it an empty observable. That won't work. You actually have to have whatever your default value is and set an empty version of that. Was that a good tip? I think you're quite right. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.